I'm here tonight to ask the HBAC to not support Article 38 next Tuesday, March 8th. For those at home, in my opinion, the passage of 38 would amount to a million dollar plus land giveaway of town land. This commission is in the middle of a $375,000 update of the transportation parking section of the master plan. Article 38 is a selectman sponsored Warren article that would give away town owned land to the casino properties. When I say 1 million plus, clues could be used as an example. Our manager, Mr. Welch, says 38 would clean this up, eliminate the problem. We don't need any more streets. Those were comments at deliberative session. On the selectman's meeting on 222, Manager Welch stated it wasn't fair to take land that they had paid taxes on. Well, to that, I would say they derived income on the same land. What was the amount of taxes versus what was the amount of income? He also said businesses on, tan, on town land couldn't operate if this article failed. It seems to me some of them have been operating for anywhere up to 118 years. This is not about taking anyone's land or anyone's business. Personally, I refuse to subscribe to what I think is a fair tactic of the town manager. What this is about is getting all concerned parties to the same table to improve transportation and parking. Improvements for residents, improvements for residents and guests of Hampton Beach. I'd like to share with you minutes of your meetings. These aren't opinions, these are facts. From September of 2012 to January of, of 2015. These minutes don't reflect the frustration that I heard from the HBAC at these meetings. The first mention I see of Sal was on September of 2012, on page eight. Mr. Nyan discussed transportation being a priority as well as business relations with the business community. Getting Sal to the meetings for a sit down was discussed. On 1025, I spoke for the first time about the intersection of what I'm calling E Street, Brown Ave, and Ashworth Ave. Just prior to that, there was a meeting on October 9th. Well, excuse me, this was the data was reported in Hampton Patch by Carl Stuker. October 9th, that the new owner of the casino, and you can look this up, just put in Patch, Hampton North Hampton Patch, with the zip code, it'll pop right up. October 9, 2012, the new owner said the casino needs enhancement and not changed. It showed a video of the audience, but this was, you were invited to go to this meeting, and I'm not sure exactly how many people were there. But on the meeting of October 12th, I mean October in 2012, October 25th, 2012, page three. Under the chairman's report number two, meeting with Sal Lapoli, Lapoli at the casino. Mr. Nyan attended the meeting with Sal, as did Griffin, Mr. Rage, Mr. McMahon. Mr. Nyan likes what, that Lapoli wants things done right. Mr. Lapoli would like the, this commission to have input on his ideas, and he would like to get together with the commission. Mr. Lapoli would also like a meeting with Mr. Nyan and Dredd to, dis, dis, to discuss the state park, the Shell Casino, and services that are offered by Dredd. Mr. Nyan will work on that. Mr. McMahon believes incremental changes will take place. He felt this was a positive meeting. Mr. Rage said the meeting was positive also. Mr. Griffin said he felt many people felt they weren't invited and noted that this meeting was Joyce Graham Mason's idea and she wanted to make sure Sal met many people. Since that meeting, Mr. Griffin has been invited by Mr. Napoli to go to the next stage, which is one, attend one of the top 10 medical companies. He feels Mr. Lopoli will make fabulous things happen for Hampton. Mr. Nyan likes Mr. Lopoli's vision. In November of 2012, page four, under new business. Charlie, let me uh, interrupt for a second. Yes, sir. Um, what, I, what I would ask, rather than reading the minutes of each of the meetings, can you summarize basically what the intent uh, or what you're trying to get at by 
reading the minutes? And, and I could do this pretty quick because I'm not going to read that much, Mr. Chairman. My, my point is that the, the majority owner of the casino has blown this committee off. That's, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Okay. On the new business, on page four, Sal Lapoli, Lapoli Company is requesting a meeting. Mr. Nyan sent a letter on behalf of the commission. Mr. Lapoli requested a meeting of the HBAC. He will invite him to make a presentation in one of the meetings. We're waiting to hear back. Sal Lapoli Company is requested meeting. He discussed he had, Mr. Nyan discussed he hadn't heard back from Sal Lapoli. Mr. Nyan called his office money and left a message with the executive assistant. He stated HBAC wants to meet with Sal. Spring and summer is approaching fast and we'd like to hear comments from him. He did not receive a call back, but we'll try again next week. Under the next one is February of 2013. There is still no feedback from Mr. Lapoli. I won't read. I'll give you a copy. Anybody wants a copy of these meetings, I'll pass them on to Max. Whatever. Anybody that wants them, I got them for you. February 2013 again. Mr. Nyan discussed that we had not heard from Sal Lapoli. He's just he is just receiving voice recordings as of now. He will try to continue to try to contact. He thinks it's important we meet with him. On March of 2013, requested meeting by the HBAC. Mr. Nyan still has not heard back from Lapoli Companies. He put in another request to reschedule. He will work on this. January of 2014. It brings up the intersection that I, that I talked about, and it says here, it's talking again about you, John, and it says there'll be no discussion until we talk to the owner of the casino. I brought up the subject again in April of 14. In August of 2014, update on meeting with Sal Lapoli. Mr. Nyan reported there was some confusion about proposed meeting with Sal Lapoli regarding future expansion and redevelopment. After discussion by the commission members present, it was decided Mr. Lapoli to review his ideas at the September meeting of the full commission. If Mr. Lapoli is unable to attend, the subcommittee will meet. <coughs> Chairman's report. <coughs> October of 2014, Mr. Sal Lapoli, Mr. Nye reported that Mr. Lapoli has been delayed and will be rescheduled. On November of 2014, Mr. Nye referred to HBAC's topic. He also spoke of a discussion with Mr. Lapoli about the casino parking lot possibly creating an exit. In November of 2014, meeting requests with Sal Lapoli. Mr. Nyan reported that me the meeting with Mr. Lapoli has been tentatively scheduled for January 22nd. Mr. Nyan sent a letter to Mr. Lapoli inviting the meeting to share his future plans for the continuation of economic development for the Beach. Further to have a conversation with how Lapoli companies, the HBAC, could help each other in finding ways to continue improvements as part of initiatives as part of the master plan. January 2015, meeting with Mr. Lapoli. Mr. Lapoli's office responded to an invitation from Mr. Lapoli to attend an HBAC meeting. However, he is currently looking at options around his property over the next four years, next few years, and will share his vision when the time is appropriate. He will get back to the commission when he is prepared to discuss further options. And I will make this quick, Mr. Chairman. It'll probably take me another two minutes. The frustration of taxpayers at every level, local, state, and federal, is obvious. Just look at national politics. On our local level, I'm accept, upset that upwards of 100000 may have been spent with VHB on two-way traffic plans on Ashworth prior to meeting with police, fire, and public works officials. Passing 38 would be like holding four aces and folding. All due respect, Mr. Chairman, as you have a reputation of getting things done, and I think you do a great job. But like I said, four weeks ago today, we lost a shy Irish girl from the Murdoch Exchange. That shy Irish girl was my mom. If she was chairman of the HBAC and called the majority part of the casino, and they told, and it, and to ask to speak to the majority part, and they said uh, he's not available, she'd say, I'll hold. If they wouldn't talk to her, she'd knock on your door. If you wouldn't talk to her, she'd knock on your door. If you were too busy to meet her, she'd say, that's all right, I'll wait right here. If someone wasted her time and efforts, good luck to them if they ever needed her, because it would start with a lecture. My mom made mistakes. Some days she probably thought I was her biggest, but she was loyal. There's people, places, and things in our lives. Charlotte's people was Bob Preston. 
Charlotte's place was Hampton Beach for 84 summers. Her thing was don't respect her people or her place. Disrespect her people or her place. Charlotte, as all knew, was the middle daughter of seven girls of Ray and Annie Keefe of South Lawrence. Let me tell you something. Waterboarding has nothing on the wrath of the seven Keefe sisters if they thought something wasn't right or fair. I firmly believe my mother Charlotte would say now is not the time for 38 until the time that all parties sit at the table together and work to compromise for the best deal for the town of Hampton, the casino properties, and our visiting guests. Join me in voting no on Article 38 next Tuesday, March 8th. Thank you very much. And if anybody wants copies of these minutes, I'll be glad to provide them. Thank you. Thank you, Jolly. Any comments? Hearing none. Thank you. You can stay around for the rest of the meeting, Charlie, if you want.